What up, everybody? Welcome to the show. This right here is an updated settings guide for Gray Zone Warfare. I've already put one out and it's pretty spot on, but we found something else that could help you, especially if you have a 4000 plus series GPU. This is going to give you all the quality and all the frames. So check it out. What you need to do to get this frame generation technology is you need to press your Windows key, graphics, system settings. This will pop up here. You're going to turn on hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Okay, turn it on. You're going to go down to browse your desktop and you're going to find the Gray Zone Warfare application. It's going to be in your Steam files. If you go to Steam, find the game, go to properties, and it'll show you the file. And then you just follow that. So add that. Put it on high performance you're done here it's going to ask you to restart your computer if you have not if it was off after that you're going to go into the game okay again i've been playing the game even before i, I got 80 hours in the play test and i'm telling you regardless of what people say most of the stuff going on right now despite what everybody's saying about reviews and complaints and connectivity servers it's user error and i'm telling you setting this up especially with 4000 series gpu is going to fix most of your problems, all right? So you're going to do that. You're going to go up to the gearbox, graphics, just kind of copy everything you see here. I'm not going to go through them. Put everything on low for now, all right? Again, 4000 series plus, we're going to do you first. I have a 4070. DLSS, you should be able to toggle frame generation now that we have hardware um, acceleration on. You're going to turn it on, leave it on quality or balanced or whatever. Somewhere in here, I wouldn't go crazy. Super performance, you don't need it. Uh, leave it on quality low latency on and you're done. Okay. I'm recording right now and I'm getting 125 FPS. If you have done what I said and you cannot get this frame generation at all, you probably have a, a GPU that's under a 4,000 series, maybe a 3080, 3070, and you're not going to have it. So I'm going to show you what to do one more time. This is in my other video and this does help everybody. You're going to sacrifice a little bit of performance. Like you can see my game change right there. You're going to go to FSR. This is going to give you frame generation, regardless of if you, I know it's for AMD and stuff, but you're going to get frame generation, put turn on low latency, again, do some quality and your game does not look bad. Okay. So if I apply the changes here, I already have hardware acceleration on, so I'm not going to get crazy frames, but this is kind of what it'll look like. Now, make sure your hardware acceleration is probably at least what we found. Make sure you turn that off if you're going to be using FSR. This is if you have, you know, NVIDIA GPUs, things like that. But yeah. DLSS, frame generation on, quality, no sharpening, low latency, and you're good to go. All right. Regardless of what everybody says, that's the best route. I have like a bunch of people testing this. So trust me, make sure your control panel and all that stuff's up to date, drivers up to date, everything from top to bottom. And I'm telling you, you're going to fix a ton of your problems. Hey, man, if you learn anything, you know what to do. Also join the collective. I'll put a link in the description below. A lot of like minded FPS gamers in there. And we'd love to have you. I appreciate you guys and I will catch you on the next video. Thank you.